31st tonight. It's almost two months since the floods in South Yorkshire and home and business owners have been working hard to repair the damage they suffered. After a very difficult Christmas, spa owner Pam Webb is finally ready to welcome back her customers. Phil Bodmer reports from Fish Lake. Thanks very much indeed, Phil. I think John sums up the spirit there of Fish Lake. Mm -hmm. Thoughts are very much with you, John. Absolutely. Bounce back, I'm sure you will. Now, that BBC Radio Sheffield concert to raise money for people affected by flooding has raised over £6,000. Yeah, that's amazing. The show took place for them. A West Yorkshire police officer is among 16 men who have been in court today in connection with historical child abuse and sexual exploitation offences. PC Amjed Hussein, who is also known as Amjad Dita, faces a charge of sexual touching. He appeared at Bradford Magistrates Court this morning along with 15 other men from Halifax. Here's our Home Affairs correspondent, Emma Glasby. This one. Lovely. Wonderful how the confidence is there yeah, as absolutely. well. That's wonderful. That. OK, well, talk about being confident. Leeds United are the team of the moment in the Championship, aren't they? They are indeed. They've got a bit of tonight. If you left your television, because I know you love the third round of the FA Cup, don't you? You've been, you've been sitting watching it all weekend. Absolutely. I bet Hamilton's <laughs> had a lovely time. <laughs> well, in around an hour's time, talking about all these teenagers, doesn't that make you feel old, doesn't and it? Tell me something about yesterday. You were playing netball. Yeah, talk about being teenagers. <laughs> I don't think I've played netball since I was a teenager, but a wonderful event organised by Leeds Rhinos at Netball and and uh, it was all to raise money for Rob Burrow. So I, I, I played wing attack. I'm creaking Did a little bit the this rules? morning. No, nope, didn't. <laughs> but Did then quite a lot of it said we were, our team was Leeds unathletic and we pretty much You're lived up to that athletic. thing. We won one game but we had a very good draw and I was against at one point Anna Cartus, the director of netball for Christ's sake. So <laughs> we waved more than £2,000 so brilliant oh, effort from excellent. everyone. I was terrible at netball. Nobody used to throw the ball to me. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to see pictures of that if you've got them. I'll pay you a lot of money. <laughs> now, a teenage football funny. fan's dream came true this weekend when he got the chance to referee at an FA Cup game. That's right. Sheffield United season ticket holder Tyler Machen ended up going from spectator to fourth official after an assistant referee fell ill in the Blades game against AFC Files. The 19-year-old had already refed a Sunday league game in the morning and still had his kit on from the match. So I sat down possible. Oh, good luck to him. Yeah, now, awesome. the Christmas holidays are, of course, over and January is looking bleak, but Yorkshire Wildlife Park has come up with a novel way to keep their animals happy. In particular, these little fellows, not, not this little fellow, sorry, these little fellows behind me, the ring-tailed lemurs. It involves something <laughs> none of us want anymore. Intrigued? Cathy Killick has the story. To tell you the truth... Oh, little tail! <laughs> How cute. I'm talking about being cute and cuddly. Yeah, yeah right. You said that, not me. Happy New Yes, he did, actually. Yeah. I'm getting a bit worried about you, but Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. A couple of lovely pictures uh, to show you before we get into the forecast, because there's a lot happening. That's a uh, lovely wild again on Saturday, back up to 13 or 14 degrees, and that is the I'm forecast. sorry if no one's noticed, but you look like you've got a little lemur tail at the back. You've, if you turn around, he's got a little... <laughs> is that me, a is little that bit best, Is that my best side, is it? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> anyway... No comment. Just <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah.